let me give this deck a couple of shuffles before we begin. Okay, now I'm gonna show you a way you can control four cards, any four of a kind, in a game and do them to yourself. Let's use the four kings to illustrate this. Okay. Uh, let's assume that I have already controlled the four kings to the top of the deck. And I'm gonna leave them face up so that it will be easier for you to follow. Now, bring the first king to the bottom of the deck, undercut half the deck and in joke. Shuffle off until the king is back on top, cut out the jogs, drop at the in joke, in joke again, shuffle off honestly. Strip four cards, and now if your partner cuts at exactly the right points, you're set. Let's try a five handed game of poker. I hope you didn't think I was kidding. That's how you can deal yourself a four of a kind in a poker game and if we take a look at the other cards we'll see that it's very difficult to beat four kings even with all the other hands combined now let me return the cards in the deck it's obvious that the more cards you can control, the bigger the edge you can give yourself in any game. So I'm going to try and control all 52 cards. But in order for me to do that, I'm going to have to memorize the exact position of every card. But first let's cut the deck in two, roughly in two, and I'm gonna shuffle it back individually. And then one into the other. I'll have to memorize the position of every the exact position of every card in the deck, so I'll just take a moment to do that. Okay. Uh, in order for you to do what I just did, you have to be playing a game where all 52 cards get exposed. This doesn't happen in most games, in poker for example, but there are games in which it does happen and one of them is bridge. Now, I don't know much about bridge, but I know that in a bridge game the whole deck is dealt to the players, which means that each player ends up with 13 cards, and opposite players are partners. 
So that's why breeds game. Can you imagine which suit is the strongest suit in breeds? Some of you might say spades. And you'd be right. Spades is the strongest suit in breeds. That's why the strongest hand in breeds consists of all 13 spades. And the odds against that happening in a game of breeds are over 150 billion to 1. Now I can sense that some of you are not really amazed and I probably know why. You must be thinking, thinking to yourselves, okay, I controlled all 13 spades, but in the beginning I said I would control all 52 cards. Well, that's why in fact I also controlled all 13 clubs and all 13 diamonds. And I gave my partner the second strongest hand, which is all 13 hearts.